All right, so we're going to uh, switch gears a little bit and do something a little easy. We're going to start doing the foot. So let's go ahead and create a polygon cube, just a basic cube. We're going to move that in the front view over to where our shoe starts. Let's see, side view, we're going to move that forward so the back edge of the cube is just pretty much, there we go, right where the foot starts. And we're going to move to vertex mode and we're going to create ourselves a little wedge. And that's how that shoe is going to be working here. So from here we're just going to go to interactive, I'm sorry, insert edge loop tool. And we're going to insert three edge loops. Switch to our vertices mode and we're going to move these vertices around and kind of match the silhouette of that shoe. There we go. For that vertice we're pulling that down. We're keeping the the edge, uh, I'm sorry, wedge look. Uh, it's been a long day. There we go. And we're moving those points around. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Want to cr uh, keep that kind of cheese slice, apple pie slice look to it. Kind of wedge look. Okay. Don't worry uh, about matching up the front view exactly. We're going to rotate the shoe. Uh, to a little bit more natural position once we finish it. So we're going to be doing a lot of our work in our side and our perspective view. Alright, so we're going to take this back face and we're going to extrude it. We're going to bring it to right where those edges meet. Extrude it again, again, right where those edges meet, and then back to the back of the shoe. Okay, we get that little rounded portion of the back of the shoe by inserting uh, one at the very middle, one edge loop all the way around the shoe. And hit Q after you're done with that tool, or R, and we're going to scale that out just a little bit. And forward and backward. Gets a little bit more roundness to the shoe. Uh, we can take the side edges here, okay, and we can pull them down, but you want to make sure you get both sides of the shoe. Let's see, why is that being a pain? There we go. <laughs> All right, and you see how we're matching up to the grid flow that's on the on the example model. So we're going to slice in another, there we go, line there, and now we have enough points that we can start matching them up. Oops, and that is the middle, that middle vertice at the bottom of the shoes is what's causing that to look a little weird. And that's okay, we'll just, we'll live with that. There we go. Move that down, we want to move that back. Now, we're getting a little bit of an average here on the bottom part, is we have not extruded out uh, the sole of the shoe yet. Okay, so just kind of flow with it a little bit. There we go. And yeah, we're just scaling in, getting these vertices to match up, so they're the same on on both sides. Oh, those are matched up pretty well. Uh, scale won't even move, so there we go. And we're just moving those to match with the grid flow. There you go, and there you go. Yeah, move that up, move that down aren't too many vertices, so don't really need to hop forward in the video here. And we're just basically averaging them up, meeting them up there. There we go. All right. Oops. And that one should be going there. <laughs> we haven't done the sole yet. Now we're going to insert another edge loop. Uh, now we have the vertices we need to create that bottom loop of edges. Just going all the way around the model. Taking our time. Uh, this only takes about 10-15 eh, minutes to do a, a basic shoe form. And if it takes you longer, don't worry about it. Especially since it's your first model. I think my first shoe took me a while and a couple of tries. Yeah, before I got this workflow down. All right, a little bit wider for the top of that shoe. 
Uh, and these we're just going to kind of estimate how wide the shoe is. Okay. Not going to meet up exactly in the front view yet, but we want to at least get it thick enough so it goes out around that leg muscle. Good. All right. Pulling it out. And we're just going to move around the vertices a little bit more, get it a little bit rounder. Oops. <laughs> so I'm going ahead and I'm putting uh, my body on a layer. Uh, you just click on the little blue ball on the paper with the sun. That'll let you go ahead and create a layer, double click it, name it half body layer. And then if you hit uh, that button there, it'll it'll hide the body from you so you can just work on the shoe. Okay, so I'm deleting the top faces there, getting an empty shoe and that's... there we go. A little bit easier to see what you're doing. And that leg fits in there. It's pretty big right now. But, all right. So I've just gone ahead and we've noodled around uh, with the points a little bit during that cut and got a little bit off the grid flow there it's uh, moving it back on the grid flow not a big deal if you're off the grid flow we all see we have the same points we can kinda see they're in the same place uh, you want to get this as round as possible uh, and that's why this lesson you know does take up a portion of the day is you guys have plenty of time to work on this It's a very basic shoe. I mean, we're not doing incredibly detailed army boots or or Iron Man's uh, rocket shoes. Okay. All right. So now comes a little bit of. Um, we're going to insert one edge loop right near where the sole starts, and we're going to scale that out a little bit in all directions. You want to scale it uniformly out. Get a little bit of a thickness for the rubber part of that sole comes up. And then we're going to move it up. Okay. Uh, another way to do this is to extrude, but then you get some unnecessary edge flow at the bottom. And no one takes a look at the bottom of a shoe in a video game very often, so we really don't need the poly count down there. Uh, this will go ahead and, and save you some polys. Okay, soften that edge. Then we're going to select the edge flow at, there we go, the two edge loops running around the top of that, and the edges running around the bottom of the shoe. And we're going to go up to normals, and then we're going to harden those. And you'll see why in just a second. There we go. And then top of the shoe, of course, we want to harden that as well. All right. So we're extruding the top of the shoe, give it a a little bit of thickness and then extrude and press down. Okay. So ultimately what we're doing on that is we're going to attach that to the bottom of the leg. So I want to push that down and move the entire shoe to the side there. Okay, There we go. And if you want to go ahead and rotate that now you can get that to match up pretty perfectly. There you go. Right to the concept art. Perfect. So we're going to have to attach the two models together again. Uh, sorry, being a perfectionist here. There we go. Combine them both. Uh, now I switched to X-ray because we're going to have to get inside this model here and delete that big face at the bottom of the leg. Uh, you do not want to leave that there. It's unnecessary and it's actually what's called an N-gon. And for this, there we go, we're going to select both those edit, uh, edges and we're going to go to Edit Mesh Bridge. Uh, take it down to one division, no need for any more than one. And let's take a look, turn off X-Ray here. Okay. Well, occasionally Bridge doesn't like me, so I'm just going to switch to Append to Poly and on the inside of the body it's a kind of a pain to get right on those edges. Ok, 
Okay, and we're just going to append all the way around. Just keep going all the way around there. There we go. Perfect. Got a leg, got a shoe. It's matched up. And there we go. So if you want to, that top row of faces, you can go ahead and select them all. Now you can pull it up, you can pull them out, yeah, move the side, fit it around that calf a little bit, and then dropping down a couple, uh, or even just extruding, yeah, that'd probably work better for you there. That way you don't have to drop in edge loops, you can just scale out as you're going. Kind of got a clunky looking fireman's boot there. Uh, I'm going to leave it as the, the basic shoes. Okay. And uh, in the next video, we're going to go over making hands. So go ahead and save, delete your history, and I'll see you there.